Hello and welcome back to Legends of Valeria with me Barden. As you can see we had a version update in the beta so we're on version 0.5.48.02. Let me tell you exactly what that version update has done. So the main thing is that the Rift Mage class is out. So we're going to give that a go today seeing as our stats have been reset. Okay so let me tell you what the blurb is about the Rift Mage. Rift Mage can use and bend raw Rift energy to their will. Rift Mage can move or block objects midair, bend Rift energy to solid forms, and open Rifts to move between locations. The Rift Mage class, class includes the following features. Mark location, teleport to location, and teleport to town spells. That's pretty nice. So it does kind of negate, though, going around and getting the portals, if you have that, though. So we'll have to see how that actually works out. I got it all. Orb that will follow your view as long as you hold the mouse button. The mage, the new mage light spell, a personal force field that blocks a large amount of damage for dissipating, as well as the original shard of ember and magic shield spells. Okay, so it seems like a very, uh, kind of almost like a tanky kind of mage class. And then in terms of other things that they've done, they've added footsteps sounds, they've added citizen greetings. We'll have to see those today. Um, improved ambient audio, which you can actually hear like the birds tweeting and stuff in the background there. Enemies now warn their friends when in danger. Added combat sounds, improved player jumping mechanics, added smooth turning when in casual, added player sliding animation, fixed multiple combat issues such as player response to clicks, enemies, AI and speed. Okay, yeah, because I noticed some issues um, in the last couple of episodes. Fixed and improved combat dodge issues, that's good too, because again, there was a bit of lag and a bit of trouble with that. Added high level dodge can be researched in a defender skill tree, okay. Added enemies blocking logic. Okay, cool, so the enemies will not just avoid being hit, try to actually block it. Fixed stamina and focus regeneration issues. Fixed player can draw a weapon while customizing an RTS. Fixed player has no eyebrows in character customization. Fixed female player is white when switching from a male in the character customization. Remove some low quality hairs and fixed colors in facial hairs. Fixed camera issue in character customization issue. Uh, window, sorry. Fixed shields holding issues. Fixed spelling in some dialogues. Okay, that's good. That's one that I pointed out a while ago. Fixed pierce damage wasn't calculated. Okay, interesting. And fix quick bar counter issues. Okay, cool. So that's a lot of changes they did there. Then beta 2 changes to say fix followers will greet you during combat. Fix no loading screen when dying outdoors. Okay, cool. Now, one thing I hope that they haven't, they haven't specifically said it, but one thing I hope is going to be fixed is that now, yesterday I tried about 10 times to record an episode before this patch came out and the game kept crashing almost always in the same area so one time I recorded the entire episode and then I was going over to the barracks to finish off and then the game crashed but the rest of the ones were basically when I left here and went down the, the hill the game crashed when I got towards the end of the hill so let's hit OK here. Let's then go into our character and let's build towards the Rift Mage. OK. So we're going to increase our Rift Mage levels. Definitely need to have hold, holding down on these if you want to do multiple. Because clicking. 50 or 60 odd times is not fun. Okay, there we go, we got Rift Mage 75. So we're going to go Spirit to, I think, 12 or 13, I guess. Since <laughs> see as that happened, Constitution up a little bit and Dexterity a little bit. Okay, now let's unlock what we can. So we've got the initiate rift wielder, so we get mage light out of that. So we unlock all of those. Then personal barrier. Okay, 
Requires strength level 7. Okay. So we need to up our strength for that. How about the Rift Wheeler? Requirement. Warrior level 50. Why is it warrior level 50? Like this is the rift mage. Should not be rift mage level 50. Is that, is that maybe just an oversight that they didn't put it in? I think it might be. I think it might be that that should be rift mage level 50. Okay. So, hmm. That means yeah, because look at these, it's Rift Mage level 60, Rift Mage level 75. And then that one is the Warrior one, yeah. So we can't, can't do anything with that. And the personal barrier is strength level 7. So maybe we can get that at some stage. <coughs> right, so we're not going to have all that much for the Rift Mage, unfortunately. But hopefully the guys, when they see this video, will fix that issue. Now, we're going to go do the... <coughs> excuse me, the, the gold mine. So here's about where the game kept crashing. Just around this area. Let's see if anybody's going to greet Hello. us. Hello. Oh, they do. Hello. Oh, well, they're busy fighting, I think. Good. Good. Ah. There you go. It's going to help you. Take some. Oh, well, we already got enough bread. Uh, the rest of the stuff can stay where it is. We'll take your cash though. And Hello. vendors. Hello. Feel free to help yourself to anything on this bandit here. So, this is a bit weird though, because normally, well, previously, the bandits didn't come this close to the town. But let's head on out. It's good that the game doesn't, the game isn't um, glitching there or crashing there anymore. Let's continue on this way. But it's a bit of a pity that we can't have a full look at the at the Rift Mage. Because all of those abilities are gated obviously behind that mistake with the level 50 warrior. So we're gonna go up and over here. Oh. That's something that needs to be fixed as well, is where you bump into something and then they go into the... Yeah, they go into that stupid standing stance. That definitely needs to be fixed. Right, let's jump over there and run down the mountain because why not? That bit reminds you of like the Universal Soldier movie where the guys ran down the dam. That was so cool in that movie, like it was kind of something that wasn't that, wasn't that, hadn't really been done before in movies, like because it was, it was early on, like it, it wasn't, like, it wasn't the most high budget, I don't think, movie, but it was just something that was cool, but it was kind of in that area, era when Jean-Claude Van Damme and Dolph Lundgren were like, you know, 
if you're going to make that kind of movie, they're the people that you wanted to have in it. Especially if you couldn't afford to have uh, Ernie or um, Sylvester Stallone in, in it instead. But anyway, let's continue on. You can't do that while in combat. What is I can't do while in combat? Now, oh hi there, guys. Wait, I'm not even hit this guy. What's going on? Ah, there we go. We're not doing much damage, though. But they are, they are like avoiding our strikes a bit more. But it's. It's very hard to tell where my weapon is actually going in relation to that guy. There we go, he's gone. Okay. So you almost have to face tank enemies to make sure that you're, you're actually going to hit them with your swing. Which is not great. Okay, let's dodge this way. And then hit you and again. There we go. Okay. But yesterday, when I did it, the one that didn't record properly, let this guy come forward. I used the elemental and I had the I had my sword uh, like I put the enchantment, the electric enchantment on my sword and we I absolutely oh, wrecked this. It was just so easy to cut through the eyes. Certainly not as easy right now. Now whether that's part of that is obviously do we're missing the extra damage that the elemental mage would have. And then the fact that the enemy AI has been increased with it, so extra aggressive as well. Yeah, look at that. Certainly is different. Okay, let's get her a little bit stuck. Let's turn and get you. Okay, he's done. Yeah, they definitely made combat more challenging. Because when I did it yesterday with the elemental mage, there was no real point in blocking because I was hit killing people in two hits. Now we're hardly doing any damage, even when we're the ones hitting first. See some of that. And one thing that would be nice would be when. When the game resets your stats and stuff, if they'd also reset your, your hotbar, because a, a lot of those abilities on my hotbar are from... Let's transfer your cash. Are from the Elemental Mage, not the Rift Mage. Let me take her cash as well. Thank you. Accept that. Uh, we've already claimed it. Yeah, claimed it all. Right. Okay. How about the chest? Jump through all of that. Now, yeah, what does what do those? They only stacked eight. Okay, it's fine. On we go. Team of Rappel. Okay, some more gold for us. There's another chest there as well. There's going to be some more enemies too. We definitely need to get some more potions as well. Let alone potions. Again, because yesterday I didn't really feel the need to spam potions because 
it was it was pretty easy to fight him. Look at her eyes. Wow. But right now, look, we're hardly doing any damage. To him. Yeah, when there's multiple enemies, the difficulty certainly has gone up. But when it's still just a single enemy, it's, you know, it's pretty easy to put them down. Obviously, I, having said that, I am going to die to a single enemy at some point now. Here we go. The cash from both of them. We eat another apple, because why not? So apples are four. Uh, I'm liking I'm liking the footsteps. So these are goblins, yeah. So it's the same enemies as we had yesterday. Obviously you didn't see yesterday's episode, but it's the same stuff. Oh. But that's the problem, is that we're kind of getting our ass handed to us a little bit more with the update, okay? Now the good thing is we can portal back there, but before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and grab some potions because we do have a potion vendor. That's the food, yeah, the food guy sells potions, doesn't he? Yeah, they need to fix that thing. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> Good day Hello. to you too, yeah. Hello. Right, um, I want to sell some stuff, so... Would you mind buying that, please? And we'll sell the military axe as well. Oh, I... Accidentally equipped it. And I did it again. Okay, we'll accept that. Goblin Bane, Blade, and really good that. Okay, that's enough. Now, I think you're the one that's... Hello? Hello? What? Well, somebody is serving me, I guess. Yeah, here's the health potions. Let's buy... And just get 30. And do this for a while. Except that. Actually, we should get two more because then they'll be stacked properly. Oh, two more. Thank you. Okay, and then luckily, oh, we can run into the post. But now we can run back up and get back up to where we were supposed to go.
and hopefully next week the guys will have noticed the problem. Normally, at least um, one of the development team checks out my videos, so they should have, have noticed it. And if if I get the time as well, like this week I'm pretty busy with work, but if I get the time, I'll post it on their Discord as well. He's steak, yes please. Puts us right outside. Just run back into the cave. Great thing is, everyone up to the goblins will still be dead. But the, the big problem is that we're expecting with the Rift Mage to have our personal shield to help us in those fights and we don't have it so... Oh we didn't get that one. Well that's one bonus to gain our ass kicked. Got a bit more gold. This is where the goblins are. Yeah, we're doing so little damage. Even when we catch them full and they don't parry. And we're taking a lot more damage compared to what we're doing. Uh oh. Something I just noticed. Is that I never put the stuff on my hop bar. Yes, yeah, something I hope gets fixed with the hop bar. I really do feel that if you put something in a slot on your hop bar, then if you like it should like the way that the the all of these are being remembered. For the items, they should be remembered too. It shouldn't be taken from a stack. It should be taken from just those items in your inventory. Oh, we need to skedaddle. Or not. Okay, <sighs> gotta go back in again. Yeah, this is, this is tough work. Part of it is because the Rift Mage is definitely janky right now. And then part of it is because they've buffed up the enemy AI. Right, so let's get in here and we should be able to finish it now. I've got everything hot barred. These guys are waiting for me here, but one of them is dead. There he goes. Okay, we don't need any more apples right now, thanks. This is the guy. Yeah, and a one-on-one -on -one is still better just to out-hit them. You know, through in the odd block and stuff, it's still just hitting them more than they hit me. But when it's multiples, you've got to be a bit more defensive. Let's grab that. Yeah, it's not far from the end here, from what I remember.
Oh, hi there. Oh, kill the guy. It's right there. Crazy. Yeah, let's try to move around you. That's something that I mentioned yesterday. Obviously, you didn't again didn't see the episode, but up there it was actually iron, and it actually looked very natural to be there. The chest, not so much. But I was saying that it'd be great if they implement more of that with the with the deposits, where it's you have to look up, or you know, it's it's embedded in the wall rather than just sitting on the ground. So I think this is the last group of enemies here. There are a number of them though. I'm not sure what they did about like the about they were saying like with the with the lag for input and stuff, but it doesn't seem to have improved things. It actually feels worse. Yeah, look, I can't. I just can't get out there. Look, no. Do that. Do that. Okay, you don't know, grapple. Let's kill you. Yeah, there's still that there's still that little delay when you attack where you end up hitting the button multiple times because you're not sure if your attack has gone through or not. He's gone. He's out of the way, there's one almost dead. Oh, and one of them has just jumped down there. Once you get them cornered, it's pretty easy. Reduce their mobility. Okay. Do that. Hi there. Okay, let's back off a sec. Make you miss. Go for the kill. No. Okay. Let's just reach it. You done. Check the chest. We we'll take the cash, thank you. And then this should be the end of the mine. There we go. So let's exit there. Okay, so we just need to get down here. Oh god, she's stuck, is she? Okay, not so stuck, thankfully. Mm -hmm. Or is she? Let's go 
here. Okay, there we go. So over there, and drop down. And that's why we were doing that, was to get to the portal. Probably broke our legs several times doing that, but hey, game doesn't recognize it yet. Then let's go to Greenside, uh, Greenside Village. And just go tell the advisor we've done what they need us to do. And then we'll be all set to do a different mission next week. So this is the last one that we do from the advisor. It's a bit of a shame. I hope in the future he's included a bit more because you know he he is supposed to be our main guy, and it'd be nice to have more utility with him where he could tell you, especially when you get multiple settlements to tell us what what's going on with them. Okay, you rank green side about the mine. Yes, I've cleared the cave. That's good news. I'll send the miners right away. We should have a steady flow of gold. Okay, any pricing matters now, go talk to the barracks captain, that's fine. Right, so thank you very much, that's all for now. Okay, and that's it for this episode as well, so I love that sound there for the completion. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed, uh, hopefully next week we're going to be able to explore the, uh, the Rift Mage a bit more. Hopefully they've sorted out that issue with the, it's saying level 50 warrior instead of rift mage and then we can play around with it a bit more and see what this this uh, class can really do but yeah that's it for me hope you enjoyed and hope to see you all next time goodbye thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right and check out some other videos here on the